Do Economic Fundamentals Support This Market? by www.options-trading-education.com The stock market is at an all-time high, but the economy is not all that impressive. Do economic fundamentals support this market? USA Today answers the question. With the Dow Jones Industrial Average within striking distance of 17,000 and the Standard & Poor's 500 Index inching closer to 2,000, it's time to question whether this market is being supported by real economic fundamentals. The short answer? It's not. New data shows the economy shrank by 2.9% in the first three months of the year, worse than previously thought. And while many would like to blame the weather, yes, it was bad, and look ahead to a better quarter, the reality remains that this is an economy stuck in an anemic recovery with few signs of improvement. Durable goods orders fell 1% in the latest month, meaning consumers aren't spending on big ticket items such as refrigerators and washing machines. Retail spending is still weak and while we may be creating some jobs in excess of 200,000 in the past four months, the quality of those jobs is lacking. According to these folks, investors are going into risky assets in order to continue seeing profits and growth. Investors don't expect interest rates to go up for quite some time, so they are avoiding bonds and pushing more and more money into stocks. What happens if the market flinches? Not all agree. Value plays disagrees. They believe that global markets are rising because the fundamentals are slowly improving. Markets are rising globally in response to better than expected economic news. Value investors discussed this months ago. They saw that fundamental trends were continuing higher as they have since 2009. They say that market psychology is unpredictable, that in the end market value follows fundamentals. It's interest rates stupid? Bill Clinton famously said that the reason he won the 1992 election was the economy. Today, interest rates and the perception that they will remain low for a long time are probably the main reason that the market is up and stays up. The one fundamental that investors are betting is the interest rate. Market Watch discusses the subject. As the second quarter earnings season draws to an end, many market prognosticators are a bit perplexed. While earnings as a whole beat consensus estimates, they did so to a lesser degree than in previous quarters. Moreover, earnings fell year over year by roughly 5%. In other words, corporations made less money for shareholders in the second quarter of 2016 than they did in the second quarter of 2015, yet major indexes hit new all-time highs this past week. The disconnect between fundamentals, that is, earnings and earnings growth, and share prices should not be taken as a sign that fundamentals just don't matter. They just don't matter right now. Market participants are betting that low interest rates will be in place for many more years and that simultaneously growth will reappear, providing fuel for the current rally. So long as rates are low and the economy is not heading south, stocks will probably remain high. If rates go up too fast for investors, it might be another matter. For more insights and useful information about options and options trading, visit www.options-trading-education.com.